Hello, I'm Ann Pierce with the Wisconsin First to Detector Network. Today we're going to take a look at Lesser's Hellendine, which is a prohibited invasive plant here in Wisconsin. Lesser's Hellendine is an herbaceous perennial plant that likes to grow in wet areas, especially along stream banks, lake shores, roadsides, and even in wet lawns, which is where we've come from today. It's a spring ephemeral, and so it emerges and begins flowering pretty much as soon as the snow melts in the spring but then it dies back by the beginning to middle of June. And so we have a very short window to look for it here in Wisconsin. As a ground cover, Lesser Celandine tends to form dense, thick mats of vegetation that can exclude other plants, especially the native spring ephemeral wildflowers. Let's take a closer look at Lesser Celandine and learn how we can identify it. So starting with the leaves of Lesser Celandine, you can see that they're roughly kidney shaped, and they can range in color from kind of a lighter green, which is what we see here today, to a dark glossy green. Looking closer at the leaf, you can see it has a heart-shaped base. And the edges of the leaves are slightly wavy to coarsely toothed. Lesser celandine flowers are bright yellow with eight to 12 petals. And then if you turn the flower over, at the base of the flower, you will see three sepals. If we look closely at the stem of Lesser Celandine, we'll see these spherical white structures on the stem. And these are called bulbils. And the bulbils are vegetative reproductive structures that grow on the stem of the plant. Taking a closer look at the ground, uh, the below ground portion of the plant includes these tiny potato-like tubers. And so these are below ground vegetative reproductive structures. So now that we took a closer look at the Lesser Celandine, remember that the key characteristics to look for are the kidney-shaped leaves with wavy to coarsely toothed edges, bright yellow flowers with eight to 12 petals, and the three sepals at the base of the flower and then the above ground bulbils, the vegetative reproductive structures, and the below ground tubers, also vegetative reproductive structures. These key features will help distinguish lesser celandine from native look-alike plants, such as marsh marigold, which although it has bright yellow flowers and blooms at the same time as lesser celandine and grows in similar habitats, marsh marigold lacks the bulbils and the tubers um, and additionally does not have the green sepals at the base of the flower. So next time you're walking in a wet area in the spring, keep your eye out for Lesser Celandine, a prohibited invasive plant in Wisconsin.